Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's weather video for this Saturday morning, March 23rd. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Feels funny saying Saturday since I'm usually the Sunday guy, but our Scott Martin heading over to Mississippi State today for the Southeast Severe Storm Symposium. Always a fun time in Starkville. Uh, let's look out there across the area early this morning. Quite a range in temperatures, 32 uh, at Pell City, uh, 39 at the Birmingham Airport, 46 down in Bessemer. That uh, range of temperatures brought to you by Inversion. Uh, that's what we get sometimes here this time of year across Alabama. You can't tell it much from this infrared, but uh, the sky is mostly clear across the area this morning. A few high clouds down there across uh, east central Alabama, parts of um, Talladega, Clay, Randolph counties, uh, moving uh, southeast or down toward the Auburn area. But uh, for most of us, uh, it should be a mostly sunny start to the day with some uh, clouds possibly in here late in the afternoon. Nationally, not much going on. A few um, uh, winter weather advisories out west. Lots of uh, flooding, though. Midwest, uh, much of uh, that river, the river systems of the Mississippi uh, up into um, the Midwest are in flood and uh, normal spring floods uh, across parts of the Rockies uh, into the uh, northern plains. Some winter storm warnings, a departing system there in the northeast, some uh, frost and freeze advisories in the, in the Carolinas. Uh, today, Fairly boring, uh, which is good. 72, the general high across the area. Just a few clouds later in the day. I think tomorrow temperatures will be even a degree or two warmer. You could see some gusty winds at times uh, as our next storm system uh, begins to come into shape. This is Monday morning uh, around 7 o'clock showing a low pressure over Kentucky. Uh, weak low pressure at that. Uh, but um, could see a shower tomorrow. I don't think that's out of the question, especially tomorrow night, but the better chances come in late Sunday night, early Monday morning as a band of uh, showers and some thunderstorms uh, moves into Alabama. That probably keeps us from having stronger activity late Monday afternoon and pushes it down into South Alabama. Uh, you see the uh, main focus there uh, generally from Montgomery to the south. Lapse rates, which is a measure of how uh, fast temperatures drop with height, um, and also an indicator of instability will be pretty good across Alabama, or, or at least um, pretty strong, um, or pretty low, I guess, or pretty high. What One of those things. Um, at least they'll be strong and uh, conducive for uh, thunderstorms on uh, late Monday afternoon, Monday night. That tells me we might see some hail uh, with, see, with some of those storms. This is Tuesday afternoon. That system's on out of here. We're on the clearing side. We turn cooler. Uh, Tuesday highs will be in the 60s as opposed to the 70s. We'll start off early Tuesday morning in the 40s. We'll start off Wednesday morning in the lower 40s, maybe a few folks in the 30s as we continue in a cool pattern, but we'll bounce back into the middle 60s Wednesday afternoon. Now, this is Thursday. Uh, showing uh, strong ridging of high pressure over the eastern United States, that cold air damming sort of uh, working its way down through Georgia. We might see that uh, late Thursday, maybe even into Friday, but I think uh, by then we'll be warming up. You can see the flow around that, uh, that ridge of high pressure, uh, those isobars beginning to get packed to the west. That means we'll probably be breezy by Friday, as that system approaches Alabama, look for highs on Friday to be in the 70s. Now, next rain chances come uh, late Friday night, early Saturday. Uh, if you believe the GFS, if, you, uh, if you're a, a fan of the Euro or think it's uh, favorable in this situation, uh, and maybe perhaps a little more likely that uh, rain chance might get delayed till later in the day on Saturday. Uh, of course, this time of year, uh, we'll deal with some uh, thunder associated with that. That system moves on through. Uh, then looks like uh, two more systems follow on its heels. This is uh, Monday evening, April Fool's Day, uh, showing low pressure near Shreveport. Uh, but again, it's um, fairly weak. Overall surface pressure is low across the southern United States. Uh, we'll see a, a deep southerly flow. Rainfall will begin to increase. I think we'll see rain and some thunder uh, on that Monday night into early Tuesday. 
But moving out into voodoo land, we get a little bit of a break midweek. But then uh, by Thursday, Thursday and Friday, April uh, 4th and 5th, we'll see uh, changing conditions again. Rain moves in late Thursday night, and uh, rain and thunderstorms will be likely on uh, that Friday. Looks like that system, though, has more of a southern bent. We'll have to watch it. I think it could be, uh, at least if the setup holds true as it is right now, uh, it could be a severe weather look for South Alabama. Now, we'll uh, end up with temperatures. We'll be bouncing around the uh, 60s for uh, much of the next 10 days, with the exception of uh, today, tomorrow, and Monday. Uh, overnight lows are going to be generally in the 40s, occasionally climbing up into the 50s ahead of those storm systems. That's your weather video for this Saturday, March 23rd. Scott will be back tomorrow. I'll be uh, over in Ireland uh, next week, so uh, he'll have both videos next week. Of course, James will have two a days all through the week. And until I get to uh, sit in this chair again, as I always remind you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just to click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.